So for those of you that have become invested, we have one lime here, two more coming over here, three here, uh, there might be a couple more down in the corner, um, star of the show is here, as well as here, and then I just noticed this this morning. So the aloe vera is gaining a new little sprout. It's getting really heavy, but I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. Okay, so here we are with everything I brought today. So first we have water, that's an always, paper towel, new ring light, we'll get to that in a minute. Then what do we have here? Tea which needs to come out of there and go in the drawer. That's just so I have a little bit of a selection. Today I brought some Davids. I don't know if these are ones, they basically just need used up. I just haven't, I've had them for quite a while. I kind of bought one of those advent calendars, you know, like two years ago, and this is the end of them. So they need used up, so I thought I'd bring them in here. And then we have, um, you know, the peanut butter and jam sandwich, uh, more tea. Uh, the tape, sports tape that I use to tape my hand when it's bothering me, a letter of some sort that's probably not even for me, but I end up putting the mail in there. Um, my vitamins that I take, um, I have a set of them that I'm going to, or that set of them, I'm going to leave here because I forget to take them often. So they'll be here. Then I was cleaning in the basement and came across a couple of candles. And I do use candles here um, in the hallway. And then I found this at Walmart on the weekend and mine gave up the ghost. And that's it, this cleaning mitt belongs in my vehicle. Um, the headphones go back and forth with me and so does the tape. So that's it. The reason why this week's video has been like low key dark is that ring light. Anyway, so if you watched last week's vlog, you'll see that it quit working. I think it's the adapter but to buy a new adapter was going to be like $30. And then I was at Walmart and to buy a whole new ring light that is, I think the same size, I'm pretty sure that's the 18 inch, was $69. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy a new one. So let's unpack that. I've already had it out and looked it over. I did not plug it in. Which I probably should, in hindsight, have done. Now this one is a bit different. I'm not sure if I'll just keep my stand or use the new stand. I don't think the cord is as long. Also, fine. Be a small pain in the ass, but it's okay. Okay. So the light itself is a little bit different than my old one. The shade is a little bit different and it's really light. And my other one is probably a bit heavier. This one has your brightness and your color temperature. Um, my other one does not have color temperature, although it does have different settings or different um, shades that you could put on it to change the temperature. I stashed them, to be honest, I don't even know where they are now. So, oh, and this one has a remote. Um, kind of low key looks like the first generation um, Apple TV remote. 
So, pumped to get into that. And of course, it has a case, which that usually ends up behind the chair. Please don't fall off of there. Okay, so the stand so far is like super light compared to mine. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Anyway, we're gonna raise this up a little bit. Mmm. I don't know about this stand. We'll see. It's pretty flimsy. Maybe I'll use my stand. So let's take the old light off. Which luckily, like, this is heavier, like substantially heavier. So my old stand is the same on the top as the new stand. I'm going to use the old one because that is, that is flimsy. Uh, so this has, this hooks on just a little bit different. So it has this sort of thing happening. Um, and same with the bottom of this, whereas my other one just set on, and I don't think that would transfer over to the new one. The new light is on the old stand. Now, crossing my fingers that my adapter for my camera, like I'm always sitting you guys on here. Oh my God, it works. That's so exciting. Okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then there's this, uh, which can also, wow. Oh, anyway, which can also go on to hold your phone. Okay, it works, let there be light. Now, without blinding you guys. Oh, there we go. So that's your cooler and your warmer. You can't see it that great on camera, but I can definitely see it. Okay, middle of the road is where we're gonna end up. Saturday morning at 8 a.m. I've been here for about an hour. I am going to work on, I'm doing an online course 
a bit of something different and I'm gonna work away on that because it's almost done and it's kind of getting a little intense so sometimes it's easier just to like drink my coffee and put in my headphones and do it here um, there's less distractions here at home than at home at home I'm always like wandering around looking for the things that I have to do um, but I have a client starting in a half an hour and then I will work today until like <clears throat> around one this is like I do every third Saturday so this is it and it looks like it's gonna be a nice day like the Sun just came out I can see it on that wall over there I don't have any of the big lights on but I'm hoping it's going to be a nice day I did get my hair cut the other day I think I oh, why did I put my hands through it now it's gonna fall on my face um I think I said to you guys the other day I wasn't sure if I wanted to grow it out I did decide to grow it out we're gonna we're gonna do this it won't be forever I just want like a it doesn't even need to be able to go in a whole ponytail I just want to be able to like bring this back or something and then you know what likely I'll come back to this haircut because I really love this but I just really want a Sunday morning ponytail or to be able to put on a hat and not look like a gremlin those are my two wishes for right now so I just want that you know tussled kind of shoulder length thing you know and I have really thin fine hair so Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and then I can keep you guys updated if you want me to. Um, maybe you don't want to hear about it. I don't know, but I have super thin, fine hair. Always have. So, I am going to go to Cosmoprof at some point. It's an hour away. I'll get there. And get Nioxin. I've used Nioxin in the past. You know, some people say different things about it, but I found it helped, you know, so I'm gonna get the Nioxin. I have to use shampoo anyway, so I'm gonna get some Nioxin. Um, I've also got castor oil and rosemary oil. I did a little bit of research. There is some stuff out there claiming, saying that this works. Uh, there's a YouTuber that I follow that I really adore and I trust and she's used it and it worked for her in conglomeration with some other things. So I also kind of fell down the rabbit hole there and there is another product that you can get that, um, that <laughs> I should have had this up but I wasn't ready to go down this rabbit hole. Um, Planter, P-L-A-N-T-U-R 39, phytocaffeine tonic. So the caffeine is said to break down, no not break down, block I'm reading these other things and I can't think of it. Block um, the D, okay, no, I really do actually know this, I swear. But anyway, it blocks the hormone, the chemical that uh, makes a hair follicle not recreate a hair. So that being said, it also has zinc and niacin in it. Do I know if that has any effect on your hair? No, but I've read a bit about it and people, you know, I find now you go down such a rabbit hole when you're researching something, like if you're Googling stuff or if you're going even into like um, more like university kind of level. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying, but you go down the rabbit hole and you still aren't necessarily getting good information. So I'm finding the quickest, best way to research something now is to get people's reviews. Just go straight to the reviews because those are generally the truth, right? Like if somebody's super happy with something and they say that, then you can pretty much believe it. And if somebody's super not happy with a product, also pretty much believe it. I went down the rabbit hole with this and we'll see. There were good and bad reviews about the uh, caffeinated tonic. However, I'm gonna give it a whirl and see if it helps thicken up my hair. Um, and then the castor oil, rosemary mixture we'll see what the rosemary is like um and what the castor oil is like i don't know i'm gonna have to get into a routine with this you know you have your antigen catagen telogen stages of hair growth um if you're an esthetician you've probably learned this but it's looking like a four-month turnaround on your hair follicle actual <laughs> it's 
too early in the morning. Anyway, it's looking like about four months before you would actually notice a difference if you're using something. So keep that in mind. If you're using something, it's looking like about four months before you notice the hair on your head uh, reacting, not reacting, it's not the word I'm looking for, but anyway, reacting to what you're doing to it. Anyway, I obviously can't talk, so I'm done here, and I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you have a good week, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I have a lot of ideas, video ideas, for coming up, so we'll see, we'll see. Sometimes I make big lists of ideas, and they're like, they kind of flop when I go to film them. Um, but yeah, I have a big list of ideas. So I'm gonna go through that on the weekend and kind of revamp it and add some information to it to see if I can't make them flow. And I'll see you guys next time.